Hi everyone, today we're gonna to be walking you through Baselane and showing you all the features that they have, as well as reviewing some of the key components that they've built. So what is Baselane? For all the landlords out there, Baselane is a all-in-one rental property financial management system that offers banking, bookkeeping, rent collection, and, as well as reporting and analytics. And today we're gonna walk you through sort of the key components that they've built, and also talk to you about what, what stood out to us when we were looking at these features. If you'd like to see more details of what are all the things that they offer, you can go to their website and take a look and see you know, within the banking, within the bookkeeping, within the rent collection, what are all the different features that Baseline offers. So we're not gonna read this list to you. Instead, we decided we're gonna show you around and uh, that way you can kind of get a feel for the product and also get a sense of whether it could be a fit for you. And we will do our, our best to point out the things that they have that are different um, and also point out things that they have and or not have, do not have at this point. So let's jump right into it. So we've actually already logged into Baselane and you can see that we're at the, the Baselane dashboard. So let's take a look at what this has. So this is just kind of a hub that's showing you your cash flow and some property metrics it looks like, a rent collection, bank balances, uh, well, before we do all of that, I think it's probably best to just go to the start, which is usually adding a property. And here, you know, we can we can see that um, we set up these two properties to show you as an example. So let's take a look at this one. So we've set up this Atlanta four unit and uh, we've added some information about the property as well as the mortgage information. And we can see we have about 80,000 in equity already built, which is great. And uh, you can update the property any any type of property is uh capable of be, capable of being added here single family duplex triplex apartments townhomes uh mobile homes for example etc and all you need to do is name the property add a property address and then set up all your units once you've done that you can as you saw add some of the financial information like the purchase price and the closing costs and annual taxes insurance as well as the loan information yeah, one of the things that i like that's kind of nice that's different is the market value so here once you have the address in there the market value can be added and this is actually updated on its own through a zillow api so you can actually see you know what your current market value is if it went up especially and what the equity is uh, compared to your debt service this is how you set up the property. Once you've set up the property, you can start collecting rent on Baselane. And there are a lot of rent collection tools out there, and ba Baselane does a really good job of making it easy for the landlord and the, and the tenant. And here you can see an example, taking our example of the Atlanta four unit, we're collecting rent on this one for three units, and then one of them we haven't set it up yet, unit 1D. But for one A, B, and C, we've already set that up. It looks like Bill Jackson, he's current on his rent of $1,800. But the other two, uh, Mo and John, haven't, really, haven't paid yet. So they've got overdue balances. So this is nice because landlords are often stressed out. Uh, I'm always stressed out with, with my rentals when people don't pay on time. So here you can see the dashboard, but also then get alerts that go to the landlord and the tenant reminding them about the, the late of the rent and to come back in and pay. Baselane has also started reaching out to tenants via SMS and email. So now they're following up more diligently to help you get your money faster. Once the rent is paid, it's directly transferred to the bank account that you told Baselane you wanted the money in uh, and it arrives within two to three days. So this is actually a nice feature because it's been really tough to get rents like four or five days later, especially if you have a mortgage. So that's another uh, nice feature that Baseline offers. You might be wondering, like, how do you set up rent uh, collection on this? So here's an example of Unit 1D. We actually started doing it already, but we'll show you how it's done. You can set up an annual lease or just a month-to-month. -month. In this case, this is just a month-to-month -month lease, $1,600 in rent. 
rent is due on the first and we go through and we auto assess the late fee. It's assessed on the sixth day and we're charging $50. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, for a new tenant, we do want to collect the security deposit. So we'll, we'll add the security deposit amount, same thing, specify that we want to collect it on the first day of moving in. And uh, we don't collect last month's rent but, or anything else, but you can do that if you need to. For example, if you have a pet fee or a one-time move-in fee, you can add some of those things in here as well, which is nice. Next, uh, this is where you select the bank account that you want the money to come into. So here you can connect an existing account you have and port that in and the money will directly go there. Or you can open a baseline banking account and use that to collect rent. So we'll talk a little bit more about baseline banking in a few minutes, but this gives you an idea of how it works. So pretty simple. Baseline, if you're wondering, uses Plaid, which is a technology that most companies use, including big banks, Venmo, Cash App. And so it's a nice feature where if you want to add an account, and again, you don't want the baseline banking, you want to do connect external, you can. Uh, it takes another like 30 to 60 seconds to do that. You can quickly select the bank you want. Let's say in this case, you saw I already connected Chime. You have to enter your credentials, log in, connect the bank, and that allows baseline to um, send rent to that account. So pretty straightforward. From there, uh, you can add your tenant details. Again, you can en enter the tenant name, email, and number. And from there, you review the details. So let me just add something here as like a, as a test. And just so you can see what that looks like. And you can review all the details here, edit them if you need to confirm and invite the tenant. So once you do that, the tenant gets an email, they can come in, sign up. It takes them like one to two minutes to do that, set up their payment and process the rent. So we won't complete this. This was just to show it to you, but this is another great example, um, like a very simple, easy way to set up rent for landlords and tenants. Once your tenant is activated, you'll start, you'll get a message and an updated status here, and then they'll start paying rent. Once they pay the rent, what I really like is getting that email, you know, when you get the rent, it says like, so-and-so has paid rent. And that's exciting because you know the money is on its way. And it's also like reduces the stress level of a landlord in the first 10 days of the month. Because usually you're worried about paying a mortgage and you don't have the rents in and you're trying to chase people down. So they really thought about that and are trying to make it easy, trying to set it on autopilot, which I appreciate. Okay, so uh, if you ever want to review tenant information, all of that is here. You got this tenant portal with all the tenants. You, you just saw I sent an invite to Andrew and that invite is pending. And once that's processed, it'll say active. So you can manage that information here. Let's see. So let's actually jump into the banking part of this. But before I do, right now you might have noticed that when you invite a new tenant, there's not a tenant screening option on Baseline at the moment. What we found out is that they are building it. If you look at, you know, their roadmap on the website that I showed earlier, that's coming later this year and a lot of other features related to uh, tenant management. So keep an eye out for that and let's head over to the banking. So we're actually going to show you the baseline banking features and talk a little bit about what the benefits might be and whether that fits, you know, what you're looking for. One of the things that a lot of landlords face is sort of this multiple bank account management problem. So if you have a different bank account for each property or different bank accounts for security deposits and collecting rent and personal and, and so on, it can get quite messy and it becomes another stress point, another yet, you know, thing to do manage every month. And it could be quite costly, costing you up to hundreds of dollars, right? So what we what, what you know what, what we like about this is you can open one bank account through baseline which is free to sign up no minimum balance requirement no fees and uh you can use that account and split it up in many ways so let me show you what that means so let's take the atlanta property example again and show you how we've set up these like virtual sub accounts they're calling it that allow you to split that one account into three four different accounts so you can actually allocate the funds the right way and make sure you're not spending the money you shouldn't be. For example, 
security deposits. I've had the, the bad habit of just spending the security deposit, not putting it in like an escrow account. Here you can allocate a different sub account uh, for that, move the money into it. So it's very simple and easy. Again, you should be always budgeting 5% for maintenance and vacancies. And you know, like I think a lot of landlords know that and they, they, they do that in Excel, but the money is actually not allocated. And so this is another way for you to really organize yourself and run your business more professionally. Now, you know, I think it's important to highlight, you know, that this is all FDI and T insured. So all these accounts are FDIC insured. The, um, any spend that you have on the baseline banking uh, right now gets a 1% cash back and uh, they seem like they're going to be rolling out a higher cash back, maybe up to 5% cash back on any debit card spend, which is pretty fantastic. This is quite unique. I haven't really seen landlord platforms doing this or any landlord platform offering something like this, where you have the banking integrated with the rent collection, bookkeeping and offering these rewards. The other part that's good to know is like any deposits that you have in these accounts, they can also earn a pretty high APY while the funds are sitting there. And right now I think Baseline is offering 1.66%. If we just go back to the website, yeah, they've got the 1% cash back and the high yield uh, on the uh, balances, which is really, really attractive. So if you have five, 10 K sitting in some other account where you're not earning money, now, this is a great option for you. Uh, in terms of like the other aspects of the banking features, you're going to get a debit card in the mail once you open the account. And then uh, you will be able to look at all the transactions related to that account in the banking section here. And the nice thing is you can actually predefine which property is allocated to which bank account. And so that actually is kind of part of their auto bookkeeping, quote unquote, where if you're collecting rent into this bank account called Atlanta Duplex Main, you can set it up so that any rent collected is automatically tagged as that, that property or that unit. So you can create a sub account, let's say Atlanta Duplex Unit 1, and then always collect the rent into that unit automatically and have the bookkeeping done that way too. So that really automates your bookkeeping, which is really nice and, and quite a unique feature. On top of that, you can obviously add the expenses, categorize them, and then track how you're doing. So that's a little bit about the banking. Let me just make sure I covered uh, sort of all the features. I'm pretty sure I did uh, on that. One other thing to point out, this bank can be opened under your personal name as a sole proprietor or a LLC. So up to you how you, how you do that. Now let's jump into the bookkeeping and analytics. So they, what, they built this master transaction ledger, which shows you all the transactions you have for your properties. And uh, the really nice thing about this is that it is auto imports using Plaid. So you can connect your existing account or your basin account to this. And all of the transactions get updated several times a day. And once they flow in, you can start tagging them, categorizing them in the, the right categories for your taxes, but also your analytics. So here's an example. This was a rent payment for one of the properties. It's been categorized as rent and we've tried, we defined the property, right? Uh, let's say that's what that is. If you have, you know, a mortgage payment like this one, this can be classified as a mortgage payment and it's set up for this Atlanta payment, Atlanta property. So this is really nice because what happens is a lot of landlords don't really use this kind of feature on a consistent basis and they don't know their numbers as much as they should. And this will help you get much more organized. And I think the power of it is two things. One is the analytics. So look at, you know, this feature here. So once everything is categorized, it becomes a lot easier to look at how properties are performing you know, on a monthly basis, on a three month basis, or even a yearly basis. And, and, and you can customize these, these dates to see what happened in this property. So here you can see net cash flow 10,000 in the last year. That's really good for this unit. You can see all the different areas the money went into and you can dive into each one 
you can audit it and see like what was going on, you know, that month, what did I spend the money on? Like this month, the expenses were high. So what happened? And you can analyze that and see what's going on. So this is another great feature. They're soon to roll out the cash flow statement. So I'm excited to see what that's going to look like. And on their roadmap, they've also said they're going to be rolling out income statement and rent ledger. So really excited to see all that. And also, I think they mentioned they're going to be adding a tax package. So you can easily export this stuff, export the cash flow statement, export these transactions at the property level for your CPA. So one thing you can do is click on, you know, one property, let's say, let's say it's year to date or for a certain time period, let's say 2021, 2022, you can easily export all of it. And once it's categorized, it's a lot easier for your CPA to make financial statements to process for tax purposes. So this is really awesome. Uh, if you're using QuickBooks, this is much simpler, more catered to landlords. If you don't have anything, if you're using Excel, this is a way for you to up-level your game, know your numbers and really like run your business like a pro so you can scale your business. So yeah, we've gone over the property setup. We've gone over the rent collection, as you saw over here. We've gone over the banking features. We've gone over the transaction ledger, as well as the analytics and reporting. Uh, just one or two more quick things. They have integrated a marketplace, so you can check out you know, property insurance if you need. Look, look, looking at this, they partner with a company called OB. I did try this out, and I was able to get a quote within a few minutes. It's pretty simple. You answer a few questions and you get a quote. If you like it, if you're saving money, you get it. If you don't, you don't have to do anything. It's nice that it's integrated. You can also just type a new address. Let's say you're about to buy something new and you want to try it out. You can quickly look up that property and start the process. And just, you know, if you're running your numbers and you want to look at how much it's going to cost, look at that. Like you can easily get a quick estimate. And if you want to get like the full quote, you can go in here and answer a few questions and get the policy. This is really good for running numbers, but also for uh, getting the insurance coverage for your mortgage, which is a requirement, um, and also saving money. Every landlord wants to improve their ROI, their net, net cash flow, and if you can save $100, $200 a year, why not, right? So check that out. And if you're looking for any loans, looks like they're starting to integrate more financial products. But this takes about a, uh, 60 seconds to get a quote, answer some questions, no obligation quote, and then you can go from there. Last thing I'll say is they have a really nice support team. You can always reach out to them. It, it, it takes a couple of seconds to get a reply usually on the business hours. And uh, yeah, they're very friendly. So you can talk to them and ask any questions that you have. So that's it for today. That's the overview of Baselane. Uh, we hope you found that to be helpful, you know, as they roll out more products and features, we'll do another one of these, maybe another three to six months later. But again, this is great for landlords that are self-managing or wanting to get control of their financials and uh, best of luck with this. And thank you for your time.